We do behave strangely as tourists. Like when I was with my family, we visited a bunch of churches. You never do that when you're at home. <laughs> never wake up on a Saturday. Hey, you want to go check out some churches? <laughs> uh, never. No. What if I told you those churches were super old and empty? I still wouldn't want to go. Most of the churches we went in were empty. And you know, we went in one church and there was a mass going on. That was kind of strange. It was like, hey, I know you're in contemplative prayer, but I'm going to do an Instagram live. So I'll tag you if you want. In New York City, there's a church that went out of business and they turned it into a nightclub, the limelight. And so that means, I'm sure there are people that walk by and they're like, oh my gosh, that's where my parents got married and where I first tried cocaine. <laughs> a lot of memories there. Of course, here in Barcelona, the most famous Spanish church, Sagrada Familia, or as I call it, Sangria Familia. Beautiful church, right? Started in the 1800s, still not done. I'm thinking, never gonna be done. After 100 years, I lower my expectations. You guys gonna finish it? Manana, manana. Don't pressure us. And that's one of Gaudi's masterpieces, right? Gaudi, such a brilliant mind whose approach to, to architecture was like, make it beautiful, but make it melting. <laughs> we want the buildings to feel like Spain in August. <laughs> Here we are on Las Ramblas. Everyone check your wallet. Ramblas, check your wallet. I remember the first time I came to Barcelona, I landed. I took an overnight flight and I checked in my hotel. It was like 7 a.m. I was like kind of wired. So I was like, I'm going to go walk around. Where's the Ramblas? And the hotel person was like, oh, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. I'm like, well, why? And they're like, oh, very dangerous. A lot of pickpockets. I was like, is it, a, is it in a different century? Pickpockets, am I going to run into Oliver Twist? <laughs> Should I be worried about being guillotined? <laughs> La Ramblas. And I walked down the, the Ramblas, and people were very nice. They were, in fact, generous. People coming up to me, offering to sell me drugs. <laughs> Do you want Coke, hash? No, thank you. It's 8 in the morning. But uh, <laughs> then I would walk back, same people, Coke, hash. I'm like, you know, it didn't change my mind. Uh, but thanks for checking in. I'm still good on not wanting drugs at eight in the morning. <laughs> my family was here. We uh, visited some castles. Everyone loves castles, right? Those romantic, magical structures where dictators used to live. <laughs> I love how <laughs> former dictator homes are so, <laughs> are tourist traps, you know? That's the effect of Disney on top of us. It's like, I'm sure that murderous despot who lived there probably, I'm sure he was all about equal rights. <laughs> I bet his son was charming. Went on a castle tour, which really means we just paid to walk through a rich guy's house. Because that's all you do on a castle tour, you just walk through. And this one was furnished. So all the king stuff was there. So it felt kind of like a, a medieval Airbnb. I was like, wow, this is weird. In 300 years, are people going to pay to walk through Bill Gates' house? Like, oh, look at that. He owned a Mac. Well, <laughs> that's a surprise. Uh, now you hear about, occasionally you hear about really wealthy people living in castles. I'd be embarrassed to tell someone I lived in a castle. It's like, oh, where do we live? Well, we looked at apartments in the area, but you know the castle on the top of the hill? Yeah, we live in it. But we're down to earth. We just have a lot more earth. The wife wanted a moat, you know. Moats, those really disappeared, right? People rarely add moats to their homes anymore. Because I guess there's nothing less neighborly, right? 
There's putting up a fence and then there's digging a river <laughs> around your house that says, you know, don't come over. <laughs> We're not looking for visitors. I don't know. It's very late night culture in Spain, right? I feel like you guys kind of almost brag about it. You're like, oh, we eat dinner at 11 o'clock. We eat dinner at midnight. We eat dinner when you're having breakfast. <laughs> I'm like, do any of you have jobs here? <laughs> How do you do that? But everything starts later in Spain. Meals, shows, democracy. Everything starts later, right? Everything starts later. Because, mm -hmm. of course, there was the Spanish Civil War, which is a funny topic. No, Sp the Spanish Civil War, and I wanted to learn more about it, so I watched some YouTube videos. <laughs> and uh, now I understand less. But I do know the fascist one, Franco, won, and he ruled over Spain for decades, Franco. And, of course, he had a son named James Franco. <sighs> who directed that movie, The Disaster Artist, but he cast his brother Dave, because Spain's all about family. <laughs> and Franco, someone told me Franco only had one testicle. I don't know if that's true, you know. I don't want to Google it, you know. I don't want to get all those one testicle ads. <laughs> so, you might be interested in these one testicle underwear. I don't want that. <laughs> Supposedly Hitler only had one testicle. Everyone has that friend that brings that up, like it explains something. You know, Hitler, he only had one testicle. Oh, that's why he did those horrible things. <laughs> we gotta keep an eye on Lance Armstrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, is Lance here? <laughs> Besides, I can say that joke, because I only have one testicle. <laughs> well, from certain angles, you know? <laughs> that's disgusting. I thought he was the clean comedian. I thought he was. Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand up, I have more stand up. Or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel. But also, just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.